Hello, Monsters of Anakin, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 5 of my Throt the Unclean campaign, where we're currently, well, we, we've dealt with these guys for the most part. We've kind of traded a lot of these settlements to our our allies. I'm going to try and, do, do we maybe try and help Throg take out the dwarves? I'm kind of tempted to maybe try and try and help Throg take out... The door. I've done. I've done a rename. Gain Delph the way. That's it's, it's broke. We're, that, we're all big. You know, we're looking for big gains here, aren't we? Big gains uh, on the quads, the other bits, maybe an extra arm. Who knows? Uh, we'll get the dreaded to the thirteenth because making storm vermin is fun. Listen to me, me. And Greg can have a blade master. Sure, sure, that works. Oh, do I want to upgrade these? It's not. It's not really going to help me all that much. That's the problem. Like this. This is not. I mean, I guess it will give me another plate priest. But to be honest, plate priests are not hard to come by uh, because we've mostly got those. How many can we have? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, four. Four so far. And the reason we can have four. It, wow, you get six power per turn. Holy shit. You're actually pretty you're actually pretty neat. And the reason we could do that is because we've got a bunch of bell polishers. Bell polishers are ancillaries are very easy to come by. You know what, let's upgrade that one. And um, they're easy to come by, and they basically give you an increase in plague priests. So you can just whack one of those on every single agent you have, and you'll have infinite infinite plague priests, which is Nice. Good organs. <laughs> nice. You've got lovely shaped organs. Not aggression pact, and you're going to pay me? Sure. I'll take your money. I wasn't planning on killing you anyway. Ooh, the war succeeds. Good for you. Increased drop chance, which seems fine. Gross batch available. You might do that. <sighs> Do, do I? Now, Kat, I can't see Katarin. So, I am go. I, I'm tempted to go and help Throg. Mind you, they haven't attacked. I, my I Right. Throg is strength rank 10. Throg is, is... Oh. Uh oh. Uh, that's not good. Is that good? Well... That said, the all seems to be wiping him out. So you know what? I'm going to assume everything is fine and under control. I was tempted to go and do this, wasn't I? Can we? Can we just hop over there? No. Never mind. We'll sort that in a minute. Okay. Uh, carve under tunnels. A little bit of extra campaign movement range seems nice. Seem nice to have. We want monstrous abominations because that gives more weapon strength and charge bonus for our rat ogres. Uh, as more bonus for health abominations. Practice goaders, recruit rats. So all of this, all of this stuff, enormous caches. That's not so useful, but still, you know me, love me enormous caches. So there's, there's a few texts there for for Clan Molder, for our for our monsters. I think uh, most of the tech does. It's income from plus five in, in, income from buildings, which is quite quite nice. Uh ration with all factions. It's not the worst thing to have, I guess, but to be honest, by the time you get it by the time you get it, you're probably quite strong, and that's not really gonna help with any aversion. Do we do we just go for it? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna meander back here. And uh, do I wait or do I go? Do, do we do we do it? Do we do it? What's up? Okay, so we are... That's going to give us 110. That's 115. It's not much more, is it? Do we just go now? I would like a Brood Horror. Unless we just wait for a Hell Pit We are getting a lot of juice. We are juiced up. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Yeah, you did not do very well last time. You just instantly died. So we're going to bring you down. We're going to keep an eye on Katarin for me. If you can manage that without carking it. And of course, we've got Sniven here, who is heading down to go and potentially put an under... I think we're going to go for Lothurn. 
I think we're going to put an Undercity in Lothurn. I think that's my plan. Talk fast, fast. What do you want? You want to be defensive allies. I'm going to say no. Because I don't, I don't know how you're going to get... I don't, I don't need it. Let's put it that way. Your ally declares war on Avalon. Really? Seems like a stretch for... The fuck? Huh. Well, I guess, I guess we're down with that. Huh. <laughs> uh, alright, fine. Okay, sure. Sure. I guess that's the Black Sails. I guess that's the Black Sails thing, because I've got the, uh, what, oh, fuck, what's it called? What is it called? Is it that one? Uh, oh, mod configuration tool. There we go. I've got dynamic disasters enabled. So, I don't, don't know. We only got 150 difficulty modifier. Is that overwriting it? Genuinely, maybe, uh, maybe 150 is fine. My only concern with whacking up to 200% is that it just tends to make the campaign longer. Like, it's not necessarily harder. It's just they, they've got more stuff. Strog, why... Why, why haven't you killed them, Throg? Throg, get get your shit together, mate. Get your shit together. Why can I not disband you? Selected unit may not be disbanded. Why? What? The fuck? Why can't you move? Why? Uh-oh. Uh, that's concerning. Is there an event still up? Hmm. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. That, that went better. Pirates of the Serpent Coast. Don't quite know what happened there. I think maybe an event message was hidden. So I couldn't move or do anything. Um, until I closed it, but I couldn't see it, so it wasn't there. As it was, uh, it looks like Throg is no longer attacking Orthon, which is not really a problem for me. I don't really care what they're up to. Not really that bothers. It's nice to see what's going on, though. I kind of want to go and kill... Uh, Throg. Throg, mate. What are you up to? Where are you going? Can you not just kill Cracker... You know, they might come back. All right, never mind. Don't worry about it. Right, we'll get rid of you. Gain, gain Delph the way. Gain Delph the way. You come in here. Do you do... Wait, what do you... I thought you did replenishment. No, not you. You. Scouting. Who the fuck does replenishment, then? You do training. You do scavenge. You do scouting. Is... The Warlock Engineers... Is it Assassin that does replenishment? What a fucking weird way of doing it. How how did they decide that? I mean, I would say the Packmaster should be... I mean, Packmaster does do replenishment, but I think Packmaster should just do gen general replenishment, right? That, that would be fine. Chieftain should do training. That's fine. She does. Scavin should be on the Assassin. Movement, I guess the Warlock Engineer is fine for movement. And then you for scouting, which is fine, I guess. But why replenishment on the Assassin? Why? What What possible reason? What the fuck are you thinking? Honest, un genuinely perplexed. Never mind. Oof, Valiant's defeats. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be... We've got some reinforcements here. This will be fine. Just a few chosen. 
full chaos things attack Hellpit again? <laughs> Why they not learn lesson last time, time? <laughs> Big problem, yes? Help it not send abomination monsters to other clan clans <laughs> till spiky things got gone. <laughs> the Y Corage thing not stop kill chaos things yet. <laughs> fool, fool, rat ogre. <laughs> Stupid man thing brain make it weak, frail. <laughs> <laughs> Me must do all thing things. Uh, make nasty, spiky things die, die quick, fast. <laughs> Other clans be mad, mad. <laughs> Keeps me from lab, lab. <laughs> me so hungry. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Gorage thing, once chaos things, dead, dead. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> me put Gorage thing brain <laughs> into plague toad. <laughs> <laughs> Now, unless I'm very much mistaken, Gorich is not on the battlefield. Like, I genuinely can't see him. So there's there's wolf rats, brood horror, mutant rat ogre, rat ogre, boil ra for some reason. Obviously a, a hell pit abomination, mutant rat ogre, and uh, some wolf rats running away. That's it. There's no Gorich. Now one of the objectives of this mission is to make sure that Gorich does not die or rout, which obviously makes it quite tricky because when the battle starts your allies are already engaged and you are quite far away which means you need to book it towards the enemy now because Gorich isn't here at the moment this is kind of a lot easier so we're moving our forces up we've got the rat ogre obviously in front because they're faster the infantry coming in behind now what i want to do is move the rat ogres around bring the infantry up and create a front line sort of around here once the front line is up, the Rat Ogres can move around behind and hopefully crush the enemy against the anvil of my Storm Vermin. That's the plan anyway. To start off with, Throt and Ted have moved in to murder these Chaos Spawn. Being on their Brood Horrors, they will make short work of them. Should be able to destroy them pretty quickly and take very little damage in return. Summoning in some units there to uh, try and slow down their advance. Doesn't really slow them down very much. Which means we are going to end up with a blob around Throt and Ted there. Brad's moving in to assist. Getting in there with his... Uh, his is it Bone, bone Breaker? It's nice, get a little... Give him a little piggyback. This is kind of sweet. Okay, the Storm Vermin now moving into position. Say, no, not, not a... Gorich, nowhere to be seen. At one point, it did say, Gorich is in danger. And I was like, well, where the fuck is he? Not a sausage. I, I genuinely don't know where he is. Unless he's, like, invisible or something. But I didn't, didn't see anyone attacking nothing, so... Not a fucking clue. Okay, we're just knocking out some Chaos Spawn. On this flank, some Forsaken as well, using the, using the Rat Ogres to deal with them. And then we've got a bit of a, a mosh pit over here. Chosen and Marauders fighting Throt, Clan Rats, Ted. I think uh, Chad's in there as well. Yeah, there he is. So far, so good. The Brood Horror. Ally Brood Horror moving in to attack the Chaos Giant. Not the best idea. I feel like maybe the Wolf Rats are a pretty good unit to use to attack the Giant. They're quite fast attackers. And uh, the Giant doesn't necessarily have a, a huge amount of armor. So they should just nibble away at him. They're going to get broken quite quickly though. But we, you know, slightly more importantly, we have Chosen. Now, of course, Chosen are one of the, the nastiest anti-large units you can face. So first things first, we've got some... Some clan rats attack them from the rear, and then we use the rat ogres to smash them from the from the back when they turned around to engage them. 
And it seems like the Chosen are getting getting destroyed pretty quickly. We just need to make sure we don't take too much damage in return because they do have uh, 26 bonus large, which does mean they're going to do so much damage to our Rat Ogres once they turn around and start hitting them back. The Giants also decided to, uh, to join in. The Wolf Rats are murdering any unit that is fleeing the battle. Quickly hunting them down, ripping them apart. It's like uh, all the Hellbit Abominations went down there. Is that Gorg? No, that's a mean Rat Ogre, just like, just sitting. That's fine, we've got some units fleeing the Storm Vermin front line. Took a little bit of damage there, but not too much, actually. The Storm Vermin's held up very well. And it looks like Throt, Ted, and Brad have managed to break, break the blob. And it looks like even the giant is now fleeing after doing oof, quite a lot of damage to, to my poor rat ogres. But he's now out of there. So Hellpits, and more importantly Gorich, wherever he is, are safe. I remember that battle being tricky because keeping Gorich alive is a bitch, so I guess if he's not on the battlefield, that does make life easier. I think we kind of maxed out on food, uh, but I wouldn't mind the extra cash, so I'll take that. Thank you very much. And I think we've hit the maximum, so we'll get a help of domination, and we've got the whip of domination as well, which is fine. Like, the point you can get that, I don't know why you would be wanting to take take any Escape of Slaves in your main stack, but but there we go. So we've got Gorich as well. There he is. Eternal. Yes. So Gorich was a, I think he was a Chaos Warlord that failed, and Archaon was like, hey, would you like his brain? And Throat was like, yeah, sure, why not? So we've got his brain. That's nice. It's nice we've got his brain. Uh, so he has some some skills like frenzied assault, arena boss, piston driven claws, Norse can fury. Uh, he's got an intact mind, trusted chieftain, and Throt's greatest creation, which is very nice. Uh, he is quite quite a brutal character to have. So you probably want to put him in our army. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Brad out. We'll take Brad out and we'll put Gorich in. I think it's what we're going to do. Two skill points. Oh, I don't really need a perfect vigor. Let's be brutally honest. Uh, let's get Respect and Feared and Rally because then we can get Mutagenic Elixirs and give physical resistance and armor as well as leadership to all of our gold chevron ranked monstrosities. We can also do this. We've got two Hellpit Abominations, two Rat Ogres, and four Skaven Slaves. Fair, fair play, fair play. Do we have any more laboratory things? We do. So we can save some more mutagen, as if we're ever going to save the fucking stuff. Recycling. Augment applied growth fat batches. Increase food generation per growth fat batch from 10 to 15. Hmm. This costs 4k each. I mean, we've got enough money so that we can probably get... I, I don't recycle stuff very much. That's not really that useful. Uh, over... I mean, it, it, we're probably not going to get over capacity anytime soon. That's the thing. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this and going, am I... Like, I'm, I'm going to spend my... Of course I'm going to spend it. Why wouldn't I? Obviously, I'm going to spend my fucking monster juice. Uh, contaminating attacks is fine. Cellular instability. Oh, that's the one that makes you explode, isn't it? It's always fun. It's always a fun one. Imperfection removed. So that will reduce casual replenishment rate by 100%. I guess theoretically you could still replenish if you had an army with over a hundred percent casualty replenishment rate. 
That's unlikely, though. That's, that would be tricky to get. So you put that on and the uh, unit eventually dies. The hunger's quite nice. It does mean your unit uh, is counted as undead, though. Acidic, I do like the acidic musk glands. Uh, I don't know about the less speeds. I, I quite like the weeping... The weeping blade effects is fun. I like that one. So... How much money do we have? Twist, bend, experiment. I kind of want to... The help abominations aren't very good, but I kind of still want one. So, I'm going to get one. Gonna get what you got. Oh, so you've got bonus feathers, infantry, and contaminating attacks. Okay. It's not bad. Can we do better? Yes, we can. You got six. I, I quite like how what's your speed? It's 64. So we could reduce your speed a little bit and give you just more armor. Just make you a very tanky boy. Um Do we maybe just want to go? We could just do two uncommon. What's your charge bonus? 37. Okay, I'm going to give you... I think this is just general... Just, you know, more melee attack. More weapon strength. Do we maybe... Because this is 20%, isn't it? Should we do this? Let's do that. <laughs> Me hope it screams, screams. And flaming attacks and propane perspiration. I quite like that. We could, could always just make you cellular... Inst give you a cellular instability. Quick, faster, me hungry. Do we maybe then also go with? We could try and make you cost less. <sighs> surprise! Surprise! <laughs> That's not the worst. That's fine. You got a little. I mean, you've you've got extra cat. You got five. So you've only got minus five percent casual. That's that's fine. We we can easily overcome that. And you'll take some damage but don't you regenerate anyway, so you'll just slowly regenerate your health, which means eventually you will hit, like, um, your max amount, but you'll just gen you'll just gradually heal yourself anyway, so that's fine. I also need to get Gorich in there. Mustn't forget to do that. We'll bring Brad down to join Telsian, and it would be nice if we had more money. I also want to know what Katarin's up to. I would like Kislev. I think that, like, Prague should be, should have more settlement slots. So should Erengrads. Like, I don't understand why, if, if Kislev start off with loads oh, yeah. of minor settlements, they really should just have more, like, they should have 10 slots in all their major cities, surely. Surely that just makes sense. Right? Does that, unless they do. But it doesn't look, like, I don't think, like, if, if someone takes help here, I don't think they have as many building slots. But I think you still need the amount of building slots actually on the on the UI, and this one's definitely only got eight. Just just weird. Because in in the realm of chaos map, they all had they all had ten slots, didn't they? Because Kislev kind of need it with all the special buildings they have there. What's an odd what's an odd thing to do? Never mind. Let's get vermin tides, because I like the idea of you just spawning a bajillion, bajillion rats. Uh, we could... You know what? I want to know... I wa what I want to know is can we... Can we augment allied units? I'm going to guess no. But I've not tried it. It's worth worth a shot. In full crumb. Where's that Aaron Grad? Tells you and gets more wins of magic. Good for him. So No. They're grayed out. That's a shame. Wait, is that just because it's on the monster? No, it's the infantry. It, it's a shame, but, uh, you know, to, to be fair. Somehow, I, I feel like taking Chosen and then making them 
more powerful would be... I mean, fucking hilarious, but... Master of beast beasts. Oh, damage building. Is there anything worse than damage building? It does absolutely nothing. I can hinder your replenishment. That's not really going to do very much. Chieftains, uh, not... Well, I guess... No, not chieftain. Packmaster. I guess you're good at assassination. So you're a good assassinating boy. So you can kind of see what's going on down here. This is fine. I kind of want... I, I need more money so I can give Telsian a better army. And to do that, we're going to need more cities. Or more money. Talking of more money, where is Sniven? Get down here. I need you down here. I wonder what's... It's the Serpent Sea, so it's down here, isn't it? I wonder... I wonder... What, because that, that little... Little minor crisis. Nowhere near me. I wonder what's going on. Ah, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit here in ambush stance. That's a lot of archers. Do not like. Do not like that amount of archers. Too many. Zizel! What's up, buddy? Would you join your war against those guys? I'm going to say no. Not because I don't want to help. I do. It's just not that invested in trying to kill those guys this time. I've got other things. I've got other things on my plate. I could always try and go for an ambush. I mean, that amount of archer, it's its not its not that I can't deal with it. It's that I don't have the... I don't have the units to deal with that. They will shred my Skaven slaves before they even get into range. Which kind of is a problem. Okay, Catherine has wandered off. I don't know where she's going. Beast will terrorize. Make enemy things scared. You've hindered her replenishment. Good job. Who are you at war with? You are at war with the Sal, the Aesthetic Legions. You're at war with Sylvan. Is that where you're going? Are you going down to Sylvania? Okay, well, if I can take Kislev off you, that would be great. I would love that. If I could just grab Kislev off you. You do have a big bear. That is a big, a big bear boy. I could potentially try for the ambush. Problem is, I don't know if I'll be able to get back out of range afterwards. So... If, if they do attack us with a shit ton of archers, I mean, absolute worst case, Telsia dies in a hail of arrows. That's absolute worst case. Hello, Festus. Military access. And you're willing to give me money for it? In that case, sure. Festus is a real foil for the Empire, isn't he? He does kind of like... He's a he's a counterweight to the Empire. I've seen them kind of like dueling throughout throughout the campaign. And I quite like that. Ugh, oh, you're just recruiting shit. I'm not, I'm not super happy about that. Where did Catherine go? That's the question. Monsters there you are. My okay, well, I don't know where you've gone. But I'm going... I'm going to take... Take the advantage here. Now, this is kind of what I wanted. So what I wanted was not to get the ambush. Because what I want is for these guys to come in as reinforcements. And for us to crush them without having to fight in the city. So we're going to draw in the enemy reinforcements. We need to wait for them to turn up, apparently. It used to be that you got the option to wait for the reinforcements, but now I'm not so sure. So playing it safe, because I, I want to draw them in, I'm not going to attack these guys until it's certain the reinforcements will show up. About now. Obviously, we're going to send some menace from below to disrupt their line, then in come the wolf rats to harass... And finally, the rat ogres and the clan rats move in. We're going to try and blob them up against the edge of the battlefield. 
and make sure they can't deploy their missile units. Because they're the what's going to, you know, really do the damage. Trying to kill off those, uh, those sleds. Because they will do a lot of damage if they charge them into my infantry. Do not want. And here come the garrison. Now, the important thing here is we blob them, we overwhelm them, we don't let them bring their range superiority to bear on us. So we need to get, we need to get right in there. We need to get in, we need to lock down every single unit. Do not give them a chance to deploy any kind of battle line. See our, our help abomination meandering into the center of the enemy line here using that cellular dis is it disruption whatever the fuck that is i can't remember what it's called now uh cellular instability that's it it's definitely not as devastating as it used to be it used to be like a um uh warp bomb not 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 thickest one the the one you get in defensive sieges it used to be like that which was pretty pretty brutal you could have Mutant Ratto could just charge straight into an enemy line, explode, and completely annihilate an army in a, in about 10 seconds. Oh, the Rat Ogre's getting right in there. It's just rats everywhere. There's Gorich getting stuck in. Over on the other side of the battle line, we have an elemental bear. Now, the, the Vulcan Tail Slashers are attacking him, and they do have... Uh, does, I guess this guy doesn't have, like, weakness to fire for some reason. It's a giant ice ball. You'd think he would definitely be weak to, uh, to being incinerated, but apparently not. Anyway, Throt's coming in. Oh, taking a big chunk of his health off already. You know what? I, I said Throt wasn't a great frontline character. I, met, I I was wrong. He's just ripping stuff apart. What a lad. Getting in there. We're bringing reinforcements over. We're getting the wolf rats and uh, Ted over as well. The idea being that the wolf rats should be able to attack the um, elemental bear pretty quickly. Plus, they've got that uh, propane excretions thing. So, they should make the elemental bear weak to fire, which then, obviously, the tail slashers have have bonus to fire, so that that's the plan, anyway. Because he definitely is on fire. And, yeah, his health is going down really fa- wow. I mean, like, so fast. I guess the wolf rats and the tail slashers really just laying into him. Health abomination comes over to help, but, to be honest, isn't really needed as the elemental bear goes down very, very quickly. Well, that went very well. Way better than I, than I anticipated, actually. I mean, I thought, I thought we'd do okay, but we, we just conf completely fucking wrecked them. Uh, let's do a three. Get all that kind of stuff. Oh, did we get some Regiment of Renowned Rat Ogres? I believe we did. How nice! How many skill points? Just just the one skill point, actually. It's alright. Uh, let's get mutagenic elixirs. So that's our boys a little bit more killy, which we want. Hackmaster, let's give you... What have we got? Militech 43. Uh, sure, let's give you Woundmaker. And you know what? I do quite like Wither. What does Plague Rash do? Mm, you know what? Let's get Plague Rash. Let's do a little Plague Rash. Three skill points. Okay... Let's get Frenzied Assault, because if I put you with the Rat Ogres, they get 40% charge bonus, which, you know, why 
Why would we not want to do that? More growth juice gained from battles faction-wide, and more melee attack for all monster units in the army. That's an obvious one. That's an obvious one. And then warp frenzy. So that just makes you more killy. I mean, I, I am... I am... Yes. A thousand times yes for all of that. Immense. Absolutely immense. I kind of want to make you guys... Cheaper. Um... Tell you what, let's let's get rid of them. And we'll get you you in here. Can we can we juice you up? Yes, we can. I mean that is what what do you what do you get? Oh, you get the, the berserk. So your physical resistance of melee attack goes up the longer you are in melee combat, as long as your leadership is higher than broken. So, what do we like? I, I think giving you the charge bonus is just an obvious one. Quick, wow. Fast, me hungry. Wow, you just instantly... You just instantly... <laughs> Ow. Uh, well, you know, these things happen. Yeah, so once they're unstable, each additional augment will will fuck them up, which is not ideal. For science! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy some more mutagen. Needs mopus, spinal fluid. Yeah, spinal fluid is definitely one of my favourites. Surprise! Uh, surprise! You, I don't. I what lightning rod is kind of shit. Cool. You've got that one. You've got Guardian as well. You've got those ones, which I like. I think the melee attack and the charge bonus is just genuinely really good for Rat Ogres. You can't really go wrong with that. I mean, we could we could always just throw them in the juicer. But for the moment, you're fine. Shall we, shall we throw something on you? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It's got the charge bonus, that's always good. You've got Guardian, which is good, you can keep. Uh, we can always go for Cellular Instability. Oh no, you don't You don't have any of that. You, we, we give you more charge bonus. Um, I wouldn't mind Guardian, actually. That way you could try and keep Telsian alive. <laughs> Me pray, it's nauseating. <laughs> oh... You're, you're a big chunky boy. Lovely. That, that works for me. You you guys do not want to come and attack me, do you? You are not, not super into that. Okay, we do have a Pox Cauldron. That is good. We could get... Oh, we do get Groove Juice per turn from the hunting camp. That, that I think is an obvious one. And then I think we want that one. So we've got the pox. I'm assuming that is a a change from a building that was already there. Oh no, we can get the pox on level three. I do stand corrected. I mean, plague. Do we need a plague priest? You know what? I don't at the moment. I'm going to get rid of that one. I like the growth juice though. We'll keep that. And what I do need is to get the exotic animal market because that will also give me growth juice. And the more growth juice I have. The more growth juice I have coming in, the more mutagen I can have, and also the more hideous monstrosities I will have to uh, quickly recruit. Catherine, why are you? Oh, are you in Vampire Lands? Yeah. Okay. You've only got one one settlement left as well, so I might just be able to wipe. Who the fuck are yes. you? You look different. Stefan von Kessel. I don't know who that is. Apparently, he is a. New boy. Uh, more armor for clan rats. Don't really need it, but I'll... I need to get rid of these these slaves. They aren't doing anything for me. Clan rats are slightly better. But stay there for a minute. You, I could... 
The problem is, the only traits you have are Hinder Replenishment, which is kind of useless. I mean, you're good at wounding. So, I might just... I might just keep you wounding people. I mean, you can hinder replenishment. I just want you to keep an eye on what's, uh, what Catherine's doing. Oh. I'm Vlad von Karstein. Yes, hello. Choose thy words with care. Okay, can I have some money? It is my will. Atta boy. All right, well, Sylvania seems to be doing okay for themselves. They've actually managed to take out Dreyker, which I don't think I've ever seen that before. And obviously now Kislev is less of a concern for them, being that they only have one settlement left. And we have four, but we've got four four provincial capitals. Telson, you're just not very good at uh, at ambushing, are you? Age of Rage. All right. We're going to sail down the coast here, get to see what's going on. Oh, you. oh, I look forward to seeing it. You shall I hope not. Also, how are you doing? You've got your strength rank 134, so... Not... not great. Not... not fantastic. I think you're getting getting pricked to death by, by arrows, aren't you? That's unfortunate. Oh, Catherine's coming back. Can't imagine why. Did she forget something? Did she, do you think she left the gas on? I kind of get what... The warps... I mean, it's, it's not a huge bonus, but 12 armor-piercing damage is... is okay. And also it gives you magic... Well, you've got magical attacks already. Yeah, got magical attacks already. We could go with this. It gives you more hit points and ward save. Sure. And more rat ogres to summon as well. Are you okay? You're in the. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. We're going to do a little ambush here. See if we can lure you in. Do we send Telsian? That's a lot of. That's a lot of arrows, though, isn't it? You don't have any garrison, so it shouldn't be a settlement battle, should it? It should be. It should just be a a field battle. In which case, in which case, it says period victory. Is it a field battle? Or a settlement battle? Right? Is that right? It is. Okay. I mean, they do have a lot of archers. But... I reckon, I reckon Telsian can do... Especially if we give him a little... A little hands. With the old... The old menace from below. We say... We say four. We'll do four. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.